Hey guys, my name is Pamela Beasley and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this double-sided candy corn cake. One side is cute, the other side is a parasite. Yeah, this is fun to make so let's get started. And before we get started, make sure you hit that like button as well as the notification bell so that you can be notified when I post a video every Tuesday and Thursday, you'll see it right away. Now let's get to the cake. Now to create this cake, I'm starting with a six inch round cake. And yes, working with a marble cake as well as a marble buttercream. Mm. I don't think the buttercream looks as appetizing, but yo, it is bomb tasting. So we got a six inch, I've got a five inch on top of that, and I'm gonna be adding a four inch marble cake on top of that. Now, to create this cake, I'm basically just carving a cone shape. I'm taking the top cake, making it so that it kind of matches the bottom cake at a slope. This isn't a complete cone because on the creepy side of this, I actually left like a ledge so that I can attach a horn to it later. But on the kawaii side or the cute side, it's very basic, very rounded, and it looks really cute. This is my least favorite part of the cake just because I don't think that the marble buttercream looks good here. <laughs> I mean, it's not chocolate and it's not vanilla. It looks like a mess, but that's okay because it's tasting bomb. I place this into the fridge for about 30 minutes to set up and then I covered my entire cake with white fondant. I'm going to call this creature Thurman. I think that's a very fitting name for him. Thurman is this big as a cake but in real life he's like this big. He's like that. This big? Is that how big candy corns are? Yeah. He's not a candy corn but he looks like a candy corn. And so when you eat him, he actually is like a tapeworm parasite where he stays in your stomach and he just consumes all of the food you eat and then he eats your inside slowly. How demented is that? <laughs> oh, but Thurman is so good looking, you guys, so it's okay. <laughs> it's justified. No, it's not. Now to create the candy corn colors, I started with a base of white and I'm just paneling yellow and then orange fondant on top. The seam is at the back of the cake right where the parasite looking part of Thurman is. You know, I wanted to make sure that the kawaii side was very simple, very smooth and I knew that all the detail I was going to create for the creepy side was going to hide the seams. Oh, look at those eyes. Now the Kawaii side gets very simple treatment, a mouth and two eyes, as well as some catch lights. But the creepy side is going to get something very different. I thought he'd be creepier with just one eye, so Thurman is a Cyclops. He also has a very big mouth and not that many teeth, I don't think. Oh, look at that. His smile, he looks like he's smiling, doesn't he? He does. Now I wanted the parasitic, is that, is that what it's called? Parasitic, parasite version. The parasitic side, per, per, parasite side of Thurman to look far more realistic than the kawaii side. So I'm adding a lot of defining lines just to make it look like pulled skin. And when I was creating his eyelids, I used magic sauce to blend the fondant that I placed on top to the rest of the fondant on the cake. Ooh, and this is my favorite part because I liked adding the horn. Come on, move my hand, move your hand. They can't see the horn, there we go. Look at that horn. 
I wanted it to look like I was a part of the cake, so I'm using more fondant just to blend it into the rest. Look at that. Magic sauce helps here a lot, just so that the existing fondant looks really like it's a part of what you covered the cake with. Now I love the top horn so much that I added two horns to the bottom. <laughs> That's how he attaches himself to your stomach. Look at that. I'm giving it the same sort of texture and just blending yellow fondant into the existing part of the cake. And then I added some teeth. Now Thurman doesn't have too many teeth, but he takes care of the three that he does have. No, he doesn't. That's why he only has three. Now we're adding some gums on top of the teeth, just like that. And then it was time to start painting my cake. Now, there are a lot of crevices and texture on this cake, so what I decided to do was just paint the entire thing with diluted food coloring. And then just wipe it away so that all of the... And just wipe it away so all of that food coloring falls into the crevices. Look at that. Creepy, right? I forgot to give him a tongue, so I added that as well. Now I started with black food coloring and then I moved on to yellow and red just to highlight different parts of the cake. And like he had like a little bit of inflammation. Even by his eye he has like inflammation. Now I'm adding yellow to create Thurman's eye. Oh look how beautiful that is. Every optometrist's dream. I wasn't happy with the amount of detail I created with his eyes. So I'm using pink fondant to create the inside of the eyelid. And then I use orange and white fondant to create the outside. And I gave this more of a paint job. Ooh, yeah, see? You see how more demented and creepy that looks? And voila. Thurman the Parasite Candy Corn was complete. Oh, this is epic. I love it. I love how much red there is. Everything is like bleeding. How can he be bleeding 24-7? I don't know. I love the simplicity on the kawaii side. I love where the mouth is placed and how it cuts into the yellow part of his skin. And this creepy side. What was I thinking? My favorite detail is that he's a cyclops. I love that. I love that it's just one big guy in the middle. Oh, Thurman, he's terrible and he'll do terrible things to your body, but he's pretty cute too, isn't he? Now I'm curious, which side of this cake do you like better? Do you like the creepy side or do you like the kawaii side? I don't even know why I asked the question. I think I always just like the creepy side. Now one of my favorite rides at Disneyland is the Haunted Mansion and I love it around Christmas and Halloween time because it's been taken over by the Nightmare Before Christmas. And this year I think Christmas is going to be thrown by Halloween which means that all of my Christmas stuff is going to have an extremely holiday cute side and an extremely terrifying scary side. Thoughts? What do you think? I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!